My friends, my brothers and sisters, salvation has come to us. My brothers and sisters, I'm talking to you now. Everybody, wherever you are from, Africa, Europe, Asia, Antarctica, North America, South America, Australia, we are brothers. Christ Jesus came for us. Jehovah is the only God to be worshipped. Let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, Christ Jesus is a mystery to us. Jesus Christ is a mystery. I saw a video a few days ago. I was disturbed by that video. It was a video. I didn't know. I didn't understand the video. It was a picture of a, like a, a a monkey and a baby crying inside the monkey. Some kind of stuff. I was thinking it was cloning. You know, I thought it was clone. You know, this I this idea of cloning stuff that you're talking about. That's what I thought. I did not understand, but I do now. I do now, my brothers and sisters. Listen to me. There is one thing, one particular thing. You know, those who were before us, all the prophets, all the prophets, what they were doing was condemning sin. But they were not focusing on the matter. The matter is what? The devil have taken over human body. The devil have taken over, swallowed us. You see the way Jonah was in the belly of a fish. That is the way all human beings are in the belly of whatever creature. You see how a little child of two weeks old, that child is about two weeks old, crying in a belly of a monkey. A belly of a monkey. I want to say something, my brothers and sisters. No matter what you have in this world. Let, let me tell you, there are many wealthy people in the world. Very stinky with wealthy. Very, very wealthy, but they do not have any peace. They don't have any happiness. You see, that little child that was swallowed in the belly of a monkey can never have peace. That child would never have peace. It's an innocent child that was born into the world, but the parent of that child or the adult around that child have brought that child to Gehenna unless by the effort of that child and by the mercy of the supreme God. And by the name of Jesus Christ and by the blood of the Lamb, that child will never have peace. One, you will never have peace in the world. And two, you're going to die and go to eternal damnation. Eh? You see, let me tell you, when we are born, we have come to glory. It's a joy. It's a joy to the angels. Just as when Christ was born, it was a joy to the angels. When we are born, it is a joy to the angels, but we, because the beauty of God has come into existence. You're not celebrating birthday. You see, this idea of a birthday, that is not really what it is. What you have to do on that day, you remember as your birth, of, of your day of birth is the day you came into existence, the day to glorify God, the day to thank God and bless his holy name for bringing you into existence. If you make it to heaven, it's a joy. But if you don't make it to heaven, it's a, it's a sadness. It's a disaster. Let me tell you, not very many people knows a lot. I mean, not many people knows. Even those who are preaching or the priest, priest or the pastor, they do not know. 
The only way people can know better is if they ask God to teach them. If they are working for the kingdom of God, if they are working for salvation, if they are working for eternal joy, if they are working for reward from Jesus Christ on the day of judgment. Another thing I want to tell you is this. When you begin well, the devil comes and bringing wealth, greediness into your mind. And now you think, oh, you want to be popular. Now you begin to look for powers, the wrong places. What? Well, God has, God can give you anything you want. Jehovah, the Lord of hosts, who is, is there anybody more popular than Solomon? Is there anybody more popular than, than the Israelites? Who made them popular? Eh? Is God not the creator of brain? Is God not the creator of popularity? Is God not the owner of the universe? Is God not the owner of the earth? My brothers and sisters, let me tell you. Hmm? Today, because you are swallowed in the belly of a fish or whatever it is that you're swallowed in when you are a baby, is is, is hindering your ability to understand the glory of God. It's hindering your ability to understand the joy of eternal salvation, eternity. Oh, my God. The reason why Jesus Christ came in the world is not for, it's not a joke. Listen, as long as you're, even if you're a spirit, eh? Christ has come for all. Christ has come for all. My brothers and sisters, this is super serious. You see, I was raised in the church. I was raised in the church. I used to go to mass every day. As a student, I went to mass before I went to school. I went to church Every day I receive Holy Communion. I, I try to live good as a, as a young girl. I try not to. I, I told myself I will not have sex until I got married. No matter the temptation I was going through. I live the way my, 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 my doctrine was telling me to live. The Catholic doctrine. And the people in the Catholics are practicing exactly what they were taught. False doctrine. Satan is in charge of the church. Satan hates God. Satan says he will not worship God. And anyone who worships God becomes the enemy of Satan. Satan is walking helter-skelter to make sure he destroys humanity. Satan does not like you, no matter how you serve him. He is your enemy. And he hates you for serving God that he says he's not going to serve. He knows what he lost. He knows that he lost heaven. And that heaven he lost, he wants you to lose it. My brothers and sisters, nobody is telling you whatever you're supposed to know. Listen to me. Human beings were created very, very beautiful. The human beings are joy of the angels in heaven. And when any person repents, it becomes joy to the kingdom of God. But let me tell you this. Once you begin to sin, eh, you begin to feed the darkness. What feed them is sin. But glory is what that God he has put inside you that brings joy to you. And if you don't turn to that joy by righteousness and holiness and following the word of Jesus Christ, you will lose it all. You will lose it all. You see, human beings are not meant to be ugly. When you see a person, the human being that is super ugly, right? That person is in the belly 